I feel sick. Do you? Yeah. All of right. What? Welcome to the IGN UK podcast. <laughs> Rory feels sick. What's feels wrong with terrible. you? Why do you feel sick? I just ate a pack of turkey like by itself. Just well, the oh. other day on Prepared to Try, you told me you were going to eat chicken that was gone off by a day. I did that. But that's fine, though. That you can eat fine. chicken that's off by a day. You can't. They don't call me iron chest powers for nothing. No one nothing. calls you that. But I, what do they call you? Uh, Rory Powers. <laughs> right, just got that intro. Yeah, Rory Powers is what a they call me. bit upset about you jumping into my hosting duties there. Sorry, yeah. Look at you, can't hold back. <laughs> well, well, if you don't put your thumb out, Joe, yeah, someone's exactly. going to step in. Exactly. My thumbs were out. <laughs> done ya, done ya. I'm Joe Scrabbles. I'm joined by Gav Murphy. Hiya. We're going to talk about all sorts of fun things, like the PS4 Pro. We should got talk, one. Should we talk about this horror film that I watched this week first, called America? <laughs> What the fuck is that about, huh? <laughs> no, you're right. Let's talk about the PS4. No. <laughs> Come on. Let's talk no. about Rory's country and what it's done to the itself. Political What's political problem? Oh, wait, we're not allowed to do this, are what we? What are you having a go at me for? You, you didn't mm. fucking vote. I know I didn't. And, like, what I know, did you not? I know, no. right? Ridiculous. It's, it's, how did you... Wait. How did Georgia vote? How did Georgia... Uh, probably... Oh, if it's based on the things that you say about different races, mm. I'm not saying they voted for Trump. <gasps> How and then dare you? Upbringing, upbringing, can't yeah. help it. Just ticks. Uh, am I, I sitting next to? Know. Am I sitting next to two men who have love bites? What? what? Is, this I, why, is this why I'm? He's got me in this one, position? and you've got one. You've got one. He's got a hickey, and you've got a hickey. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how old are we? How, how old are we? Are I we? didn't ask for it. <laughs> Neither did I. Yeah. Me and Rory were just testing it. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, you Shit. Did, no, no, you do me. Yeah. Uh, we'll say it was a really hot <laughs> chick. Oh, what's oh, going? I just got what, that. what year is this? We're getting oh, love bites. Look, Gavin. <laughs> firstly, I'm tops and tops and fingers or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh god Look, right this is uh, what is it PS4 let's just, right, right. just move on PS4 Jesus. Pro is it good what <laughs> <laughs> So me, so me and Joe, uh, uh, today actually we played some of the new Call of Duty on the PS4. Oh uh, yeah. In 4K. Is that how the love bites happened? I can't stop thinking about the love Shut bite up. I got. Shut up. <laughs> if anything, that's, that's the like... The thing is, I'm all horny now. <laughs> <laughs> I already put up with this on Prepare to Try, them yapping all about it. Yeah, but you get to, <laughs> but you get to edit that out though. Yeah, you I'm going to After Effects, a big, really? a big flesh patch, and motion track it. I really didn't know this was visible, I'm quite upset about this. <laughs> well, you've been walking around with this all day. Oh, what, this whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice turtleneck, Joe. Mm. No, he wants the people to see it. He's walking around like that going, oh, T- Turtleneck, wouldn't... but with a hole cut in it. Just in that bit. <laughs> <laughs> really draw the eye. Uh, Talk about games then? Yeah, PS4 yeah, Pro. Hell, PS4 Pro. Uh, yeah, we played some of the campaign on 4K. And good. Call of Duty. It's yeah. wasted on me. It's, it's wasted on me. It not the campaign thing. itself. I'm talking about the fact that it's in 4K. Because you don't wear glasses and you need to wear glasses. That, that is, that, a, but that like, is an issue. Well, I, was, well I, I can only see, sorry, I can see things poorly when they're far away. Way, I was right next to this 4K TV. Okay, right. right. Uh, it just it, graphics don't matter enough to me to make that much of a difference, and also for a game like Call of Duty, like we were discussing this, mm. it's not a good game to kind of showcase 4K graphics because it's there? always from that one perspective of a guy holding a gun, and you're going to be doing similar things. Also, Call of Duty, like that, the graphics isn't like a big, isn't like a bad a thing. Huge... E- like every year, you're like that looks incredible. Yeah, like the game like... looks great in itself. Like the one thing where it, like it was really showcased was Joe. Uh, took his ship out into like the, you know, the outer space and oh, shit, uh, I forgot in space. Yeah, yeah and he, he was like he was doing a, some you know air combat, which looked incredible. It looked really cool. It's really yeah. boring to play, but it looks boring nice. to play. But yeah, I mean, that's when the, the 4K. The space combat is quite perfunctory. Like it's kind of follow that one, shoot it a bit, and then you get an on rail section, and you're like, eh. That's I would space combat in stuff. every game. It's though. not though. Yeah. Oh, it, like like I said to you, have you played Elite Dangerous in VR? I live Elite Dangerous. <laughs> and I need to play it. They are good. Good work. Uh, um, have you seen my neck? <laughs> I live hard and fast. He looked, he, looked, I, um, he looked at me and he was like, he's gonna fucking say something about it. Like, yeah, I'll get, get, get it in first. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna say he like looked sure. at his love bite. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, who gets love bites though? <laughs> Like oh this uh, again. Me and Kruber were talking about this yesterday. Like, cause were you? It's, yeah, because it's clearly not, when I was. Why are you not getting love bites, Gav? Because I, if anything, this just proves that this is the norm. <laughs> you you Two made me, normal you made me guys. think it was really weird. Like everyone's making me feel it weird. It's weird. No, it's not. It's just a thing that happens. Just get your dick out for it. <laughs> <Just>. <laughs> 
Can't recommend this to the girl I'm dating now. <laughs> you think that's the reason I got this was because I wouldn't get my dick out, so I got big. Because you're too much of a fridge to go all the way. <laughs> She's like, come on, baby. So my girlfriend, Nosferatu, <laughs> yeah. had to go on the old net. She's like, come on, I'm shipping out tomorrow. <laughs> you're like, no, I don't want a baby. <laughs> Not us, baby. Your girlfriend's like, oh, I can't believe it. Now my pants are chafing me. <laughs> Jesus. But like, it's a thing. What like, happened to this listen, podcast? Listen, listen, listen. We need, to, we need to make this podcast great again. You're Before right. we came on, Gav was like, "Oh, you host this one, Joe. Most of this stuff comes from you." Butts in, <laughs> well, throws hadn't... us under the bus. Yeah, yeah well, shouts I, about America. I hadn't, se- I hadn't seen the, uh, I hadn't seen the Love Boy at that point. What? Um, <laughs> It, it just happens to be actually if I was hosted this wouldn't have happened oh so, Christ yeah well um, but then who knows like just butterfly let's move on, on let's move past it but then you're, you're, both your hickeys would have been more <laughs> visible <laughs> to everyone to not if nice. we swapped positions and then we would have been cons- yeah but then, then you would have seen yeah. 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 then I'd be able to see him again we'll so that's interesting a thing interesting that yours Checkmate. is on the left mine's on the right Different women. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Well, like, thank Christ. Like, yeah. <laughs> but like, <laughs> it takes some doing, right? The game or love bites? What love are we bites, on now? Love bites. I bruise like a peach. Like, it, it, it takes some I doing. I bruise like a Georgian that. peach. You haven't seen what's going on under this shirt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was about to say something rude then. But Scars. Ruder. Um, but oh, I forgot there's a video version. I shouldn't have made when, that face. <laughs> when, she, when, she's, when she's doing it, what's it like? <laughs> I was. Uh, what is love? I was really drunk, so I, I can't really recall the situation. Oh, uh, she took advantage of you. Yeah, well, I don't want to talk Holy about shit. it. Holy shit! Do you talk about it? Bonfire night got a little bit wild. Do you check your ass after? I just, I just wanted to show firework. Out of it. <laughs> you saw a firework up your ass. <laughs> but like, when I said banger, <laughs> hey! Uh, this is very blue. What else oh. we played on PS4? <laughs> I've actually not played anything else. To be on fair, PS4 Pro. if you want, if you actually want to review a PS4 Pro, I'm sure we've done one on the site. We, we have got. Site. You should know this. We have. If you we want the got. wiki on Love Bites, I'm sure that's up there somewhere as well. Is it? If, if not, Hickey you're right. Hickey wiki. That sounds has, wicked. Has been uh, <laughs> Hickey wiki. <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> Hickey wiki. It's like that because our wiki say when they were last uh, edited as well. It'd be like Rory Powers has edited this at four in the morning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're, I just swallowed like a mouthful out. of hot, like boiling. Tea. Do you know it? Like you can't use the hickey wiki as just like a diary for when you get hickey. It's like quarter five in the morning. Uh, hey guys, Rory checking back in. Got another, got another hickey today. There's some poor editor somewhere, like in rural, I don't know, America, just going, oh, that Rory Power <laughs> Hickey Boy 127's back, boy. putting his diaries up on the oh, hickey wiki. That's funny. If a girl started sucking on my neck, right, I would say, hey, don't do that. You guys, it's gonna make a, it's gonna make a mark on my neck. I've had to say that though. When? No fucking Saturday after, night. After, one of after, after the the first time it happened. Okay, you were like that. I had to. St- I had to start no. saying enough, hey. Wolf Girl. We've, got, <laughs> we've girl. gotten far enough. I don't care this. how much you love me. <laughs> no, oh, no. Fucking hell. Oh, this uh, makes it, right. Awful. This is Wolf uh, joke. Personal mm-hmm. enough that That's good. there's no boundaries anymore. Uh, what are you gonna say? Well, no, but do you not? <laughs> I run the hickey wiki. Um, do you not? Are you okay? Oh, God. We killed him. <laughs> Rory's off camera. You're right. Oh, God. Is this good? Do you. Is this good? Do you my lungs? Who watches this video? Do you not like a little. <coughs> I don't know. A little bit of a bite on the neck. Not on the neck. On, on the earlobe. I thought I was going to be Yeah, the earlobe was fine. That's not going to leave a mark. Um, but uh, what oh. I wouldn't do is something <laughs> That's that not I a know. piercing, is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, you all right? I'm good. You just looked at me with fear. <sighs> I thought I was going to be... I actually thought I was going to be sick. <laughs> I would love that. I would, that I would have gone up there, that turned the camera, and be like, like zooming into the bile coming out oh, of your mouth. Suddenly <laughs> turned into Jack. Talk, among, yeah. talk amongst yourselves. I need a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So the two hickeys I've ever seen you with are the two different people. So yeah. it's, it's, it suggests to me that you're into that. Yeah. <coughs> That's the question. Not, you don't they, like don't, it. Are you just really bad at kissing? The girl's like, oh, I can't be asked well, anymore. I'm, I'm going to kiss his neck Now instead. I'm in the minority again. This is really irritating. Yeah. I quite like it. Oh, uh, Jesus. I think it's nice. Not for me. I, li- I like... I'm not saying that. <laughs> okay. Uh, like hickeys on my... Red uh, Oaks. So PS4 Pro. Oh, yeah. Not worth it. Not Move worth on. It. Red Oaks season two, Gavin. <laughs> uh, I didn't... Did you know, do you know what Red Oaks is? I don't even know what it is. So no, Red it Oaks could is be a football team. Red Oaks right. is, uh, is an Amazon show. 
um, is part is one of their like uh, Amazon originals. Is that what they're called? Like Netflix yeah. originals? Yeah. Cool. Or, um, so yeah. It, was, it was Prime part of, shows? Prime exclusive. Prime, Prime exclusive. exclusive. Yeah, shite. Um, but it was basically part of that. You know, a couple of years back, they did that thing where they put a bunch of pilots up. Yes. And then they were like, hey, vote on the pilots you want. Like Chris Carter did like one of the worst. It's a good idea. It's a really like, good idea. Um, I remember awful. one called Sneaky Pete. Which I yes. Was that ever made? That was Giovanni know. Ribisi. Yeah, I don't know. I know I watched it. Um, but Red Oaks is a really good show. Uh, it's David Gordon Green. Um, who I think everything he does is incredible. You love that guy. I really love that guy. Um, and it's Craig Roberts it's as Craig well. Roberts. Uh, he's a Welsh actor. He was in Submarine. Um, I know exactly who he is. Yeah, yeah, so what's he's, got yeah. The, he's got the sort of slightly grumpy perpetual face. He's been on this podcast actually before our what? time. Um, what's really what's cool going on point. here? What's the, what's the premise? What's the show about? <laughs> I got literally you're just talking about okay, so people said, in submarines. Look, we're not talking about girls sucking neck. Yeah. <laughs> There's actually a, a bunch of the neck sucking in it. You'd love it. Is it? Uh, no, I don't know. Um, but basically, it's set in the 80s. Um, but it's set in the 80s in a way that's not like, you know, shite color. You yeah. know, like not a rubbish 80s. It's actually set in quite a realistic looking 80s. It's not Drive. It's not Drive, no. Um, but it's not like, well, Drive was set in the 80s, is it? Drive set in the 90s, I think. I don't, know. I, don't, nice. I don't know. I don't know when Drive set. But um, it's funny, but it's like quite serious. Well, it's basically about this young guy called possibly David. Um, but it's Craig Roberts. His first name, possibly. Second, um, David. David. Yes. Uh, like, they don't know how to name people. Keith um, David's brother. But it's basically about, like, he's sort of getting to that age where he should know what he's doing with his life and he doesn't. Right. Um, so it's kind oh, of... We've all been there, Exactly, yeah. Oof, and see, it's that kind of stuff. I immediately thought it was just a Twin Peaks thing. Uh, <clears> what's, yeah. the, what's that one? Wayward Pines? Wayward Pines, Is yeah, that what yeah. I'm thinking of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like that. Some um, weird tree. That's yeah. what it should be called. But it's, um, but it, it's really, really good. There's, there's a clip out, 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 There's a clip out at the moment that's really made me laugh. There's this one line in there where um, he's like, basically, he, some guy who he works for has told him to go to this place because he wants to be like a video editor. Like That's one of his jobs. So he turns up to this like um, company and this guy goes, um, like, Pete sent me? And he's like, I don't know anyone called Pete. And he's like, um, he's like, tall, uh, he's got like long hair, mustache, uh, drives a Cadillac. He's like, you've just described the Boston Strangler. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it really made me laugh. So like, I don't know if we've, I don't think we've like covered it at all on site, but. I don't think we have, but I think I talked about it on another podcast. What would you, what would you give it out of 10? Like your personal Gav Murphy? Do you know what? Cause like the first series is really, really good, but like it's like, I finished it. Uh, with uh, my girlfriend at the time, and we were kind of like we both really liked it. Yeah. But it's like you finish it, and you're just like that was good. It's like you're not. It's not like mind blowing or anything yeah. like that. It's just, there's really good bits to it. The first series has a really weird, um, like sort of '80s body swap episode. Like from absolutely nowhere, it's super serious. Yeah. Um, and then out of nowhere, there's like a bod '80s body swap episode. That's awesome. Yeah. That sounds like Atlanta as well, yeah, where yeah, it just yeah. occasionally just does something batshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of like that, but I think. Like it's that was just one episode, and I think it, maybe in the second series it'll do a couple bit more things like that. Because yeah. um, I good. actually I have Amazon Prime, yeah. but I you find watch it well the app's so annoying because it like if you search for shows it'll say like oh yeah these are available these are available yeah, and yeah, then yeah. you it's click like, it's like yeah you can one ninety nine there's like a it's like I want to know you so can turn on a filter okay yeah, yeah there's like a filter that's just like here's the stuff you can watch don't worry about it that would yeah. be awesome because I've um, never even heard of this but but I didn't even I didn't even know it was coming out and then it's all out tomorrow or today nice well depends when you listen to this all at once now yeah. All at once, yeah. Amazing. I might actually um, check that out. There's you should, a tiny yeah. place for those shows, and I'm at a good time. It's like 20 minutes as well. Like, it's a, it's a good, like, Again, length. that's yeah. That's what I'm loving about Atlanta. It's like, yeah. here's some really good, like, it's drama, but it's at comedy length, so yeah. it's, like, punchy, and then it's just done, and I can either watch the next one and not feel bad about it, or it's fine. Yeah. Like, that's great. I love I love that Atlanta for the football team. Do you? Baseball team. Both good teams. And the you way the they show. voted in the American election. And ludicrous. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that that show, that song. I actually, I'm going to find out right now if my home state is racist or not. Sweet. I can tell you now, by I told you, the state of the WhatsApps you sent me, <laughs> that your home state is definitely racist. Um, and like, we- some of those pictures you've sent us of your dad at like, those rallies, like that's, mm. that's not good rallies. I think if they? you're in the WhatsApp group, you should, uh, you know... Adhere to the confidentiality of said WhatsApp group. <laughs> Candid uh, shots of your dad coming out with huge bags of stuff from Bed Bath and Beyond. Yeah. Just all pillowcases I've under just, there. I've seen you and uh, like chatting to your um, family on your WhatsApp group. Why is it called White Powers? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, see, it's a pun on uh, yeah. uh, yeah. a very well-constructed we'll we'll joke. I liked that a great deal. Great, right. yeah. Speaking well, you, of... What were we saying? 
What? Oh, oh I don't know. You racist or what? I shouldn't just Google Georgia racist? Question, Question mark. mark. <laughs> how would you get up like the map of all the states and how they how they voted? Type in map of states voted. Uh, 2017. Yeah. Election. Go on, what else are we talking about while he does this? Well, I was going to switch straight on to the, the other streaming service thing we were going to talk about, which is yeah. Ubisoft Netflix series. Have you heard about this? Uh, yeah, Ubisoft are in talks to develop a uh, Netflix series based on one of their IPs. So, it can't be Assassin's Creed. Yeah. No. It can't be Rabbids. Can't it can't be, be Splinter, Splinter Cell, and it can't be The Division. What so is what it? is that? I think and want Far, Far Cry. Cry. Imagine a Far Fuck. Cry Netflix one. Like, oh. that would be so like, cool. Like Lost. That's what I was thinking. Like, yeah, you're just dropped on this island, and there's all this weird stuff going on. you got to overthrow the tyrant. Depends who it is, though. That's a really mm. neat If it's like Far Cry 3, dude. No. Uh, va va Vari? Vati? What Vass. Was Vass. Vass. Yeah. Yeah, he'd be a great villain. He was one of my favorite. Be a good villain, but he's in, not uh, the main guy. The guy who plays Vass is in Orphan Black, and it really puts me off. Yeah, he's in Bet Call Saul as well. Is it? Yeah, it's isn't really it so strange. funny that um, like because his audition was so good, they then like redesigned the character to actually look is that like what happened? him? Yeah. yeah, yeah, he went in and like he was doing the accent and everything. They were like, "This is the villain. This isn't wow. even the villain that we thought we wanted." But like after seeing him, I want that to happen to me one day. Yeah, yeah. we're like I go in for an interview for a job or something. And they're just like, like a single, yeah. single female yeah. mother, and like yeah, yeah. it's like whoa. He's, he's nailed, nailed it. it. Yeah. Just give her a beard. <laughs> the thing is, it's really hard when you go into like junket situations. You need like four minutes. Like when I was interviewing JJ Abrams, like, I'm gone. I've got four minutes to ask my questions. I then can't do be like, oh, and by the way, here's me with a lightsaber. <laughs> JJ, look how fucking wicked I am. <laughs> Wait, you say sorry? Are you saying you treat all junkets as auditions for the films coming up? Am I not meant to? I mean, you can. I'm doing my first junket next week. I'm looking for tips. Sweet. <laughs> should I be going no, they don't in? let me do junkets anymore. <laughs> yeah, you, should, you should turn up in, like, magic robes. I was going to say, are we allowed to talk about what I'm doing? I'm sure it's Probably. late. As long as you don't say what the film is. I don't know. You just <laughs> dropped the ball a bit there, didn't you? Well, it could be any magic robes. Could <laughs> Jackson and Lightning Thief too. Yeah. Uh, Georgia voted Republican. Yeah. Racist, though. Yeah, that will happen one day. Dirty racist. A lot of them did. A lot, yeah, Florida. that's yeah. the point. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> Jesus, calm down. <laughs> He's really angry about the election. Yeah, I get that. I'm well, right. come on. I'm right with Ubisoft, that. what do you want to chat about? Come on. Well, Love I was just going to say, on. If, if, if we could, I was going to say, if we could choose any Ubisoft title, which one would you choose? You like Far Cry. Oh, that's good. I know. Like, no, I I what, about, what about like, I like a right. Mr. Robot style Watch Dogs? No. Like, no? no I think you nailed it with Far Cry. Own. Like, I think that's the best way of doing it. Like as a series though? Yeah. yeah. You want to just, uh, what's the mystery on a Far Cry island? How are they on the island? How do they go off the island? <laughs> Who are the others? <laughs> what's in the hatch? They're lost. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking think about yourself. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, well, well, think works. about it. Like, if if they're you know stuck on the island, like similar to the theme of three, where some people are kidnapped, yeah. and it's all about those people trying to like, like reclaim control of the island, free, yeah. rescue his brother, you know, some sort what of like Walking Dead esque. You know, mission. it's always the same setup. It's always guy gets stranded in a yeah. big lawless place. God, yeah, I love those games. It, and it's always the place is like a huge part of it. What yeah. if every episode was a different place? No. Nah. Every, se every series could be a different place. Sahara. Yeah. Other one. That's I much. thought you were going to reverse it. So it's like, so what if a crazy person gets dropped in Wall Normal Street? Normal place. <laughs> <laughs> just goes mad. He probably, he probably fit everyone. right in, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> this is like, drop the dead donkey. <laughs> um, uh, but anyway, readers, what Ubisoft title would you like to see be made into a Netflix show? Yeah. Let us know. Prove us wrong. Prove us wrong? Prove us wrong. I like, okay. how, you, I like how you call them readers. Um, Joe and I are on a podcast where we jokingly... I'm going to strangle you when this is done. Why? I'm going to give you a hickey you'll never forget. <laughs> what have I done? At me today. At me. He didn't like that you brought up the readers thing, but oh, he doesn't no, know no, that no. that's a compliment. No, no, no. I, I'm on a podcast. I don't I'm know what you're doing. I'm, I'm yeah. No, I'm complimenting you. Oh, this I thought you were having yeah. a go. No, no, no. This is the end of it. This is what yeah. you've done to me. I always assume you're having a go <laughs> now. I'm sorry. I feel you're terrible. Like, what, you want a tea? What the fuck does that mean, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you just draw a big, like, Christian cross? <laughs> Upside down. <laughs> you're done, mate. <laughs> it's just a tea. What's that? Um, it's a it's like outlast. Dagger. You're fucking done, yeah. mate. I've just cursed you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sigil. Um, no, what I was about to say is, does kind his hand. I like, I like that you referred to them as readers because Joe and I are on another podcast together um, called Regular Features, where we refer to um, the people who listen to the podcast jokingly as readers. And oh. that was quite nice. It's good. You can't be brilliant. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right, let's talk about shooting games. We okay. played COD. We played Battlefield. Yeah, played Titanfall Two. Let's settle it. What's the best Titanfall 2 RPG ever? <laughs> That's not these. Titanfall 2. Yeah. Have you played it? Yes. Have you what have you played the campaign? No. 
well, you should play that too. Yeah, no, everyone keeps saying it that. It is still the best. But it's the one I had the most fun doing, because it's just mad. Yeah, um, I don't and agree. It's also the one that I was, the, I haven't played COD, but I was terrible at Battlefield, and I was alright at Titanfall too. So. I've been playing a lot of Battlefield recently, and that is a game that is as beautiful as it is merciless. Like, I just cannot yeah, compete with good, those yeah. people. I don't, it's like a different skill set. Yeah. It's like a different set of things that you need to understand. It's yeah. not, it's just like, not the same as FPS other shooters. FPS skill doesn't transfer over to that game. There's yeah, so really many, odd. like, like, like sub menus and weapons and items that you know about. Yeah, it's like crazy. Because yeah. you've played some of the single player though, right? I played a tiny bit of the single player. Right, I'm I like the still, idea I'm that. dying really to good. play more yeah. of it because people have said it's really good. I think if it's, a, if it's a debate on which one to get, it is interesting because you got three of like the year's biggest FPS games and they're all so different. Yeah. Like yeah. so dramatically well, different. Cotton Titanfall? I would say so. In terms of what you're getting yeah. like with the yeah, package. That's fair. That's because fair. I'm assuming well. with, with COD... Uh, yeah, we're taking in zombies and also uh, Call of Duty 4 Remaster, which is campaign and multiplayer. Okay, yeah, which I, I see that. That in itself is why I'm paying for Infinite Warfare. Yeah, yeah. Like, the main oh thing, like I said this about last year's one as well, like I did a review of Black Ops 3, and the main thing you realize is like none of it is the best thing that year, but they put more work into stuffing those games full yeah. of stuff yeah. than anyone else. Like I get... I get why people rag on Call of Duty so much, but I really respect them for how much work they put in because they could just release a single player and a multiplayer and nothing else. They could spin off zombies. It could be its own thing. It's big enough now. Yeah. But they're like, no, stick it all in. Like Black Ops 3 had an entire separate version of the campaign when you finished it where it was a zombies campaign yeah. that they just didn't tell anyone about. And you got to the end, they were like, here you go, have a completely different game. Yeah. It's amazing. Well, it's one of these things where it's like those games are very much constructed with the mindset that it's going to have to sustain people for yeah. a, until the next installment. Yeah. But con considering, like, we all love Overwatch, which is the paragon of games as service. It's the thing where we all stay in it because we're getting drip-fed new stuff for free. Yeah. yeah. COD just gives you everything at the start and goes, here's a year's worth of stuff. Like, I, actually, I think that's really admirable. To a certain degree, a lot of those titles, especially recently, have been pretty dangerous in terms of like DLC. Dangerous. And like, <laughs> they basically launched the season pass with the game. Like, yeah. Well, it's, that's, it's well, that's something all to be expected. Passes, though, really. Like, yeah, but I mean... That's like, a symptom of the industry more than COD. It's one of these things where Overwatch can sustain you for a year with you purchasing the game. Yeah. I don't know if COD could do the same thing. To be fair, though, it's not know. much in Overwatch. Yeah, it's pretty... Sh like, the, a lot of people don't like Overwatch because it doesn't offer what offer them what how many these maps, games How many do. maps are so. in Overwatch? Mm, I think it's... Six? No, it's oh, more than God, that. I think it's, I think it's nine or ten now. Nine, okay, right, yeah. Yeah, maybe more. How many modes? Technically three. Yeah. Um, Ain't a lot, but no. like also you don't need a lot. Well, like, that's the, it's the problem is Overwatch good. is better than everyone else's games. Yeah, yeah. Um, but <laughs> it's, we haven't mentioned the fact I that... This is like, it just says, COD vs. Battlefall versus Titanfall 2. Overwatch is uh, clear <laughs> winner. On it. So that's um, good. No, but type, like it's also worth mentioning what everyone says about Titanfall 2's campaign is basically true. It is unbelievable. Like, when in the year that Modern Warfare is getting remastered, yeah. you can tell that it's that team. Right. Like, yeah. when you play the COD campaign, you're like, these aren't the same guys. Right. When you play Respawn's one, you're like, oh shit, <clears throat> this has all that pace, all that, like, yeah. slight sense of humor, like, just clever little ideas, and just, and goes, oh, by the way, here's one level that just does this. Yeah. And, like, you'll never do this again. <clears throat> I think that's amazing. Like, that, yeah, again, that's, cool. that's really, it like, is, like smart shows balls. Design. But yeah, you're, it really you're does. So, right, though, because, like, I. Definitely don't want to be the person that comes in and goes, oh, like, new Call of Duty's terrible. I miss the old stuff. And, you know, like, I want to give everything a fair chance. Yeah. yeah. But, like, even when we were playing the campaign today, it was slow. It was felt repetitive. Between the first and second mission, there is about a five-minute section where you walk along one balcony. <laughs> yeah. And it's nuts. And you just stand there and go, Look what? good in PS4 Pro, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> but is, even... it, is this a loading screen? <laughs> like, and then what's it, going on? Like, I got into my head recently when I heard that they were going to be doing a uh, remaster of 4, and I was like, maybe I've romanticized the whole game, you yeah. know, because it was, like, the first time I'd played a big FPS. But when I was playing through the campaign of the remastered Call of Duty, I was like, this is incredible. Yeah. This is so good. These missions where, you know, you're climbing through fields with like people walking overhead and you've got yeah. night vision goggles. Mm. It feels so good. And if it, like it balanced that thing of going like, we are a serious war story. There are big serious themes, but also getting in every facet of being that, like the yeah. modern warfare thing made sense because it was, you know, like special ops that, um, really tight uh, ship level that you start out on with yeah. Captain Price and all that stuff, like yeah. breaching, clearing, doing all that <clears throat> really precision stuff. And you've got all gillied up, which is obviously one of the best. 
unbelievable PS levels ever. Like, yeah. actually um, insane. And then you've got your massive theatrical stuff and, you know, a horrible ending and twists and clever little bits of stuff. Like, yeah. it just had everything about... Try, it tried to communicate being a soldier yeah. and also did it vaguely respectfully, which is kind of cre- incredible. Like, yeah. you don't see stuff like that anymore. Like, Titanfall 2 can't do that. It can do loads of other stuff, but it can't go like, here's what it's like to be a soldier because you are essentially a superhero man in a big robot. I would like yeah, him, yeah, I'd like yeah, him yeah. to do the soldier thing but be really disrespectful about it. Would you? Like, disgusting. Did you see the battlefield? Uh, like, using, like, real f- like faces of soldiers. Of, like, <laughs> not really. <but> <laughs> You've told that uh, story about you and Quake before, haven't you? No, I didn't. Not, Let's not, not get into not that. this fucking podcast. <laughs> um, but the, the zombie thing, I like. I like. I really like the fact that you like. You are like generally really good at the zombie thing, but you keep it kind of quiet. Uh, I've talked enough about it. I think on this podcast, I've brought it up a couple of times. Because like yeah. you told me the other day that you and your family were playing it for like how long? Like straight? Our longest was fourteen hours. Oh my. God, cool, isn't it? No, I think that's really cool. <laughs> my brother-in-law had to call in sick from work. <laughs> like it, we started. God damn it, Bill. Because what we started like seven, eight at night, and just it just didn't end. So we just kept going through to the morning. What? I got so much time for that. Which one was that? Dude, it's great. That was uh, Black Ops One. Black so Ops that was 1, yeah. the, like the first, yeah. uh, like Kino Der Toten and Five. Yeah. yeah. Those maps. That's the one that's gone all the way through all the Black Ops games, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So you got that's like, like Rick Toffin one. and all those characters yeah. that like, yeah. yeah, they've been going I through love all the that. games. Yeah. Like, Again, that's another thing I love is that just they got the balls to go like that's yeah, another thing. We got yeah. one story that is yeah. one more thing. Yeah. Oh, dude. Uh, <laughs> and and the like the depth and complexity yeah. of that like a um, bonus mode for yeah. the game. Like yeah. I um it was like a couple of months ago I got to meet uh, Jason Blundell who designed zombies mm. and I just nerded out talking to him about all these little secrets trying to get little eggs out of him. Yeah. And he was saying he was like what? trying to get him to hatch little eggs in my hand. <laughs> Come on, so Jason. Like a, like a Give me a zombie eggs. baby. Jason, your eggs look like shit. <laughs> What's going on? Um but even you came your ass, not your cloaca. <laughs> he even came out and said, "There's still like secrets and Easter eggs in like the first zombies maps that yeah. no one has found before." That's and cool. That's just like I think that's so cool. Waste of time. Waste, yeah. <laughs> Should have yeah. put yeah. more effort into it. Yeah. The one guy who did it, he's just like, God, "Seriously, someone find my thing." <laughs> it's right at the start. We told you, Steve. You shouldn't so have what, hit it. So, so what's our votes then? Cod versus Battlefield versus Timefall Two. I am going. Oh, no, Titanfall 2. <laughs> Titanfall 2 is... Titanfall 2 for me as well. Yeah. I think, like, the multiplayer's got more weird ideas than the other things. Yeah. I like the pace of it, and I like the fact that it changes up between, Absolutely, like, yeah. on foot and in robot. Yeah. That's just good. What are you going for, Powers? I'm going to go for COD. Why? Mainly because, one, you'll get the remastered, which is fantastic multiplayer and story. You get the new game and the new multiplayer. But also, Remember, I you do have like... to pay like £75 for the one with the new game. As I know, because remastered. I'm having to pay for it. Yeah. It's very expensive. Um, but also because I feel like in the long run, if this is a game that you're going to be investing in, the lifeline of Infinite Warfare is going to be a lot longer right. than Titanfall 2. Okay, I think yeah. you drop yeah, off for that because it's already been overshadowed by Battlefront. Absolutely. And, well, Titanfall yeah. 2 has sold not well. I know, which is, which is a shame right. because yeah. it's, it's just bad timing. We talked about it on the last podcast yeah, how yeah. they just dropped it at the worst time. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, but make up your own minds. Battlefront is also a good game. We're not really into it because it's hard as nails. Yeah. Battlefield. Next Battlefield, week. sorry, yeah. yeah. Uh, next week, uh, you can play Overwatch for free. Yes, you can. <laughs> um, so maybe play that because it's che- cheaper than all of them. <laughs> so, do that and then you can play with us on PS4. How about that? Gavin, keyword countdown us. Here we go. It's the game that upwards of nine people are talking about. <laughs> I'm very aware you're now pointing the curse at me. Yeah. Which is very scary. That's right. The, the sigil right, drew. <laughs> It's fainted. And it's inverted now. Oh my god, his eyes are turning inside out. Did you write that in blood? It was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. <laughs> if I just write love on it, is it alright? Okay. So IMDB, <clears throat> if you don't know what keyword counter is, IMDB categorized their uh, films by a load of crazy keywords written by lovely people uh, who like to go on the internet. Um, I have picked five films and taken. Ten of their keywords. Can you guys guess the film from the keyword? And you guys can play along at home as well. Keyword countdown. Time for keyword countdown. It's keyword countdown. Time for keyword countdown. It's keyword countdown. Rory at one point was steaming ahead in the league. I was. Um, but Joe has since overtaken him. It's very close to Joe and Krupa. 
at the moment. I think Cooper's still better on average, which really bothers me. Doesn't matter about averages, though. I know. I'm it's, glad. It's like when they do that Premier League thing. They're like, oh, if the uh, Premier League season ended halfway through the season, <laughs> uh, Fulham would have like at the time. Like, they're not in the end. It's like the like, bloody yeah. political- Fulham would have won. It's like, yeah, but what about the rest? Yeah, it's all those games that they played, yeah, they lost. <laughs> it's like the uh, electoral system. Who gets more votes? Doesn't matter, because it's the person who bloody... First to the, first to the post. Yeah. And that's why you love it. And that's why Joe's going to concede to me. <laughs> no, concede okay. to me, Joe. Here we go then, right? Film number one. Okay. Also remember- go slow, because you always go too fast. Say, say that <laughs> slow. what you said during the hickey. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Go slow. <laughs> Okay. Um, also, remember, you've got to be thinking, what is the link between all of them? Because that's worth one point. Okay. <clears throat> film number one. Yep. Cult film. Hot Rod. Voyeurism. Itchy the Killer. Dark Humor. Mm. Pulp Fiction? Detective. Detective. Big Lebowski. Loss of Ooh. Innocence. My 16th birthday. What? What? <laughs> what? What? What was that? <laughs> Drugs. Oh God! Cult film. LA Confidential. Male rear nudity. Mm. I don't think I know this. Rear thing. window. <laughs> Female rear nudity. <laughs> rear window too. Ladies at it. <laughs> go go dancer. What is this? What is this? Psychotronic. Psychotronic. <laughs> Did you make that up? Is it Sin City or something? <laughs> it is Blue Velvet. Guys. Oh, I actually knew that. Yes. Never even heard of it. Haven't you? Oh, come on. It's a bit, it's a bit creepy. It's okay. I got that impression. Yeah, it's like psychotronic. Yeah. Here we What's go. Psychotronic in that. I think it's just, uh, I should like to. Cool. So, yeah. Here we go. Film number two. <clears throat> Critically acclaimed. Ooh. Jaws. African American protagonist. Peep show. Not peep show. What? <laughs> Pulp Fiction. 12, Twelve Years a Slave. I'm saying Pulp Fiction. I'm gonna say Pulp Fiction. Abuse. Uh, a precious. Illiteracy. Mm, radio with Cuba Gooding Jr. Misogyny. Uh, Selma. Incest. Ooh. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's in. <Ooh>. Duke joint. <laughs> Duke joint. <laughs> I just love that. Abuse, illiteracy, misogyny, incest, juke joint. <laughs> juke joint. Uh, it's like an old fashioned sort of. It sounds uh, like an alien from Rick and Morty. <laughs> it's, it's like a little shack that people used to like get drunk and play like jazz oh, music and stuff okay. like that in, in the South. So it's south. not not the Living Dead. Lesbian Kiss. Oh, wait. Uh, wait. No. You pick some weird ass movies. It's not that Mulholland Drive, is it? Racial Prejudice. Oh, God. Django Unchained? Escape. The Shawshank Redemption. Uh, that other one. Escape. Green Mile. Uh, Critically acclaimed African-American protagonist. Abuse. Illiteracy. Misogyny. Incest. Duke joint. Lesbian kiss. Racial prejudice. Escape. Not a clue. The Color Purple. Never watched it. Never heard no of idea. it. It's what good are you film. doing? I don't. I can't. I can't ask you. Hey, uh, Pilots, have you seen uh, the color purple? <laughs> uh, why? To be fair, if you asked me yesterday, I would have completely forgotten by today. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. yeah, if you did it one day early. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Film number three. Mad Man. Mad Men. That's, that's not a TV show, is it? Tragic Killer. Tragic Killer. Macbeth. Male pubic hair. Ooh. Blood splatter. Oh, this is what, what is this? Villain not really dead cliche. Mm. Saw? Friday the 13th, one of them. Give, Any of them. Give, give me a second with this word. Anthropophagus. That means... Animal throat. Get any of these. <laughs> Man throat. <laughs> throat? Animal in title. Animal in title. That's quite misleading. Oh. oh. But I want to put it in anyway. Okay. Animal House. House Fire. Mm, this is a bad round. It's good. <laughs> it's, it's good. Hard. To be fair, the, the, the worse it is for us, the better it is for people at home. Because yeah, then they actually get a chance yeah, yeah, before yeah. someone stomps in. Yeah. Clue number nine. God. Eating paper. What? Me, paper. Clue number 10. That Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> Oh, wait. Uh, Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal, Red Dragon, Red Hannibal Dragon, Rising. Red Dragon. I watched there that the go. other week. I know. Haven't it's heard ridiculous. of that either. Brilliant. One point there, Joe. So, <laughs> That's Anthropophagus. Means cannibal. 
I thought it might. But it was on the IMDb thing. Yeah. Uh, Madman, tragic killer, male pubic hair, blood splatter, villain not really dead cliche, anthropophagus, animal in title. Yeah. House fire, eating paper, Hannibal Lecter. It's, to be fair, these have been hard. I forgot that you they saw are. Rafe's pubes. Yeah. That would have really swung it for Good me if I'd remembered. Pubes. I only watch uh, films with pubes in. Like, you I just go through I the I literally keywords. go to IMDb, look, click on the male pubic hair, they'd be like, right, what are we watching tonight? I'll tell you what we're watching tonight. We're working our way through the list. So. Yeah. <laughs> Have you clicked on that? Do not get many third dates. <laughs> <laughs> First date, bar. Second date. Pubic hair. Specific <laughs> film. <laughs> Spe- specific pubic hair film. <laughs> <laughs> See if you can spot the theme, baby. <laughs> She's watching, it's like, is the theme loneliness? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. All right. Come on. Uh, film number four. Okay. <clears throat> and I'll give you a clue. I'll give you both a clue. because you both Thanks, man. Here. Yeah. Uh, this film's already been said today. Well, that's going to annoy me. In the, ga- in the game? Okay. In the yeah, game. not out there. Well, it could have been. <laughs> it literally could have been. <laughs> yeah, someone rung me up. 1930s. Right. Southern U.S. 12 Years a Slave. The other one that I said. Precious. No, that's now. Overhead camera shot. <sighs> Green Mile. Yes. Shit. I should have got that. Eight points here, Joe. Smash. Oh, you said it earlier. I know I did. Des- didn't deserve it. 1930s. Southern U.S. Overhead camera shot. Box office hit. St. Christopher medal. Wetting oneself. <laughs> False accusation. Death row inmate. Healing... Based on a book by Stephen King. I wouldn't have got it till healing if you hadn't told me that, I don't think. Yeah. Fudge. Fudge. Here we go. Well done. Well done. That's this is good to be set. fair, you got nine points for that. You got nine points altogether, sorry. Yeah, I don't That's deserve that. I feel bad. It's all right. I feel bad. Okay, here we go. White panties. Mm-hmm. Blue panties. Sisterhood of the traveling pants. <laughs> <laughs> Playing a video game. Oh my god. Wait, is this that one? What's that one? Free Spirit. Is it Wild Things? <laughs> the one with it's Denise good Richards. It's good days. On the Road. On my VHS copy of Wild Things, there's a couple of scenes where the tape has worn so thin. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true, actually, because there's no pubic hair now. So. Um, on the Road. <laughs> Losing. What? Money. Losing money. Snorting cocaine. Is this the the, the, <coughs> the drugs one? Fear and loathing. Oh. Pool. All I can think about is panties. <laughs> Nine ball. Nine ball. From Dust Till Dawn? I'm going to go back through it. Some pool. White panties. Blue panties. <coughs> Playing a video game. Free spirit. On the road, losing money, snorting cocaine, pool, nine ball. Not a clue. No, no idea. The color of money. They've all got colors in them. <laughs> so you get 10 points today, Joe. Oh. Well I've seen Don't, one feel, of those movies. I feel like that's what have you not seen? Green Mile. <clears throat> oh, dude, you really like color of money. I've never even heard of that. Haven't you? I don't know what that is. It's yeah. the sequel to The Hustler, directed never by Martin Scorsese. No, no the idea. This is brilliant. Um, but The Colour of Money is really good. This week, Gav showed that he's watched more films than us. And yeah, that's yeah. it. Brag about it, why don't you, pew boy? <laughs> <laughs> Brag about it, pew boy. Well, there we are. Good, good, good week for that. That felt yeah. very humiliating. It's fine. Like much of the rest it's of this podcast. I, uh, has. It was like three minutes of me looking blankly into your eyes. Yeah, just quiet. Just You're Gav's voice. both pretty, so it doesn't matter. That's good. Matter. They'll, um, that'll be yeah. good for them. Exactly. Maybe. Good for them. <laughs> good for the slugs. Good for the, good um, for the slugs. <laughs> right, here we go. <clears throat> Some feedback, man, is it? Just my one. From Mark Kingsland. Hey, guys. Do you think we will see an Overwatch 2 this console generation? Having checked on the PSN, it's still sitting at 55 quid, so I assume that means it's still selling, despite coming out in March. Do you expect an Overwatch 2 in 2017 or 2018? Absolutely not. Nah. It's Overwatch gonna be... came out in March. That's crazy. Yeah. That can't be right, is it? it was May. I might be wrong. No, wait. How many it's... updates have we had? Lots. Yeah, it's March. 
Yeah, because they wouldn't have released it. We wouldn't have been so excited for like the summer games update. Yeah, would we? Really? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's God. We've been playing that game for a long time, haven't we? Yeah, does that make sense? Anyway, yeah, no, it's not going to happen because they they're going to treat it like Team Fortress. Yeah, if Overwatch continues to be as popular as it is, it's yeah. going to be around for ten years at least, mm. guaranteed. It's gonna, also, like it's like World of Warcraft. It's it's yeah, yeah it's Blizzard. It's it's a company that doesn't operate with making yeah. sequels. No, they yeah. make DLC packs and add-ons. Like I don't need to. At worst, it will do like an Eve Online, and it will just update its graphics. Right, like it yeah. would do like an overhaul of the base That'd game. That'd be amazing. That'd yeah. be really cool. But again, like, does it need it? Like, it's it's very it's so stylized yeah. that it yeah. doesn't actually need. Yeah, like, but imagine if it did look like if uh, he says this console generation. But imagine if we get to the next console generation, and then it upgrades to look like those animated shorts. Like if it looked like those oh, Pixar yeah. shorts. Yeah. Imagine how That'd good. Be pretty that would cool. Be. Um, speaking, we haven't talked about Sombra. Should we? Nah. Well, we talked about <laughs> it a little. Oh, we, we talked about it, like her coming and stuff like that. She but. looks yeah. good. Um, yeah, I just don't think that's going to happen. I can't see them throwing away the fact that they have just yeah. all these players and they can milk them for loot boxes. If I have yeah. anything to go by, that's another. Yeah, that's a good point as well. Is like that might even segregate the audience a little bit. Exactly. It's like then half of them will have Overwatch, half of them. Will have yeah, Overwatch that's mental. Too. I don't it's think like you, you've you got everyone in one place and yeah. you found a way when you can just funnel content into them. Yeah. Like yeah. just and when they're setting up like the Overwatch yeah. League, like they've got yeah. a proper actual esports league coming the next year. I like. think that's what fuck CODs or fucks CODs um, esports, esports stuff is the fact that they change game every year. Yeah. Yeah. Like and it's just mental. Like I like been to a couple of the Call of Duty like World Championships and like speaking to some of the people who are just like professional gamers who are like, I don't like this game. Like it does it's not for me. But yeah. I've got re I've got like ditch a game that I've played and sort of built myself up to be amazing at and now I've got to learn this entirely new game I never really even thought that actually and I think like that completely wrecks <coughs> I think that can like really segregates their like yeah. audiences because you can't like even that. have like one studio constantly iterating what they're doing there are no. now three different studios making that series exactly. so yeah. like what are you going to do that's yeah. insane yeah that's really interesting I've never thought about that but no Overwatch 2 come in that's what nah, we're saying absolutely not can't see it uh, this feedback is from Antonio, and he says, after hearing about PTT for so long, I finally decided to give it a try. What's PTT? PTT <laughs> is short for Prepare to Try. Ooh. IGN's uh, number one almost weekly Let's Play series almost where weekly. three slugs sit in a room and play Dark Souls. Yeah, that's basically it. We've talked about it enough on the show for people to talk about yeah. it. Um, Thanks for your email, Antonio. <laughs> we just wanted to mention that. <laughs> you chose these ones. I know. We should point out. Uh, it's now not a religious part of my night, and I always see at least one episode before falling asleep. Oh. After watching season that's two, episode kind of a 11. Kind of a compliment, isn't it? A little bit. Why? What? Well, we make him fall asleep. Before falling asleep. Yeah, exactly. Watches it, then falls asleep. Okay, right, yeah. Immediately. <laughs> oh, they've said goodnight. <laughs> After watching season two, episode 11, I found Gav and Dan making fun of Rory, as they always do, for pronouncing Nutella as Nutella, oh, since it's made of nuts. Well, he was correct. You're Fucking right, I was correct. We know. We were like a oh, million. You've already been told. Yes. We even talk about it on the show because we found out. Daily, I'm told about this. So easy. Oh, tear Rory apart. <laughs> he said a funny American word. Uh, well, he said it right. Okay. Um, if you haven't yet watched. But why is it pronounced try, Nutella, not Nutella? I don't know. Because of the, what's it? The, what do you call that little uh, grammatical There's not an umlaut on it. There is. There's not. There, there, I don't know. swear there is. There's like Mandela the Effect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a parallel universe. I, again. I introduced him to, to the, the Mandela, Mandela Effect right. last night. And if you don't know, everyone should check this out. But it it's is amazing. But it's basically like a bunch of maniacs who think that because they've misremembered something, there's parallel universes. Yeah, that they came from the universe where it happened. Yeah, so I was in, I introduced him to yesterday. And like, we'd had a few beers. So it was just like him looking at the screen going, no, this, no, this this didn't happen. This didn't happen. <laughs> Wait, so you, you immediately thought that, that you were in a Mandela effect? He was like, where did that little thing on the Ford logo come I, from? I, of course, didn't think I'm from a parallel universe, but I also found it really hard to believe that that's the way it always was. Right, the weird sorry, one yeah. is the, uh, the, Ford logo. the F in the Ford logo yeah. has a weird like curly tail in it. It does, yeah. Yeah, but it, and people are saying like, no, it doesn't. But if you actually look, it does. Yeah. It's crazy. I, um, but like some of them are good and some of them are terrible, right? Because some of them are like Fruit Loops. And uh, you, because you said to me, which one of the Fruit Loops is right? And like, to be fair, Fruit Loops is not a big thing in my life. Mm. Um, you picked wrong. Thing. I picked wrong. But another one is like, People are convinced that Nelson Mandela died in prison. That's, so that's what it's named like, after, which is hilarious. Yeah. Like, what a mad thing yeah. to just 
base a life choice on. But the thing that I don't get about it is like if because like we talked about this the other day we, on a prepared to try episode. I said, "Oh, I'm allergic to penicillin." Um, I am too. And I was like, "Oh, so fuck Marie Curie." And uh, <laughs> uh, um, Krupa was like, "You know, Marie Curie didn't do yeah. penicillin. Uh, it was Alexander Fleming. Alexander Him. Fleming. Yeah." And uh, I was like, "What?" Like all my life, I've thought Marie Curie did uh, thing. So what? <laughs> But basically, that's me going. I'm stupid. Yeah. Like the next, the, the next jump is not me going. Parallel universe. Huh? Yeah. Because oh, shit. she definitely did it. I remember her doing <laughs> cancer yeah. and penicillin. Exactly. Yeah. She's brilliant. Um, and uh, but like, imagine that jump. Someone who's just gone. No, Nelson Mandela definitely. I definitely learned about it in school. No, you didn't. You mis you misremembering it. Um, the best one was a group of people who thought the comedian Simbad oh, starred yeah. as a, in a movie where he played a magical genie yeah. in the nineties, and apparently like whole groups of people can remember this movie where Simbad played a genie. Wait, so this is just racist people who have watched Kazam with yeah, Jackie? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Right? This is yeah, exactly that's what, what it is. is. So we were just we were talking about. It. We were like, that's actually what has happened. They were like, no, no, Simbad's definitely there. no. It's Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> He's got the voice, you know, and the, yeah. uh, the guy's voice. It's like, Jesus. hey, play basketball. Right. No. <laughs> By the way, I totally got this the wrong way around when you started saying this. When you said you introduced Rory to the Mandela effect, yeah. I thought you meant you just thought of it and was like, oh, by the way, here's this amazing thing. And he immediately went, the Ford logo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> just went nuts. But yeah, if you, if you want to read some amazing stuff, read the Mandela effect. What, what are we talking about? If you, if you want to watch uh, some amazing stuff, oh, that's right. just check out Prepare Nutella. to Try, IGN Show. Nutella. Lots of people who say they don't like Let's Plays say they enjoy this. So if you hate Let's Plays, even give it a shot. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Good. This is Curtis. Curtis is angry about our views on game uh, charging for time with the PSVR in their stores. Do we talk so about this? We, I who was it? I think it was Someone did. I think you did. Dale. Me, me, Dale, and Alicia talked about that it. That was yeah. Okay, right, yeah. I am an avid listener of the podcast, enjoying your thoughts on the gaming world every week. Thanks, Curtis. That should be our strap plug. That should be the end. However, <laughs> literally, next oh, we're all shit. fucking slow. <laughs> However, a few episodes ago, episodes ago, you did a segment on the fact game had started charging to use the PSVR headset in store, and it annoyed me greatly. What was our views on it? It was that that's a sort of a naughty thing. Well, it was the idea that um, huh. like gamer offering you opportunities to use PSVR, but they're charging you blank amount it's and five pounds uh, for ten minutes. I think oh. it was just very. It's quite steep. steep. It, yeah. um, I might be overstating, but okay. it's still five pounds for us in quite a short amount of time. Surely, but, but the, the implication from hearing it was that game was doing it to make money. Like oh. it was their own idea. Which I'm getting. I, I'm getting the idea from the email that it I would have thought. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Or I don't know the situation, but I would have thought the reason they're doing it is because so many people want it. Uh, use it that there has to be some kind of ticketing system involved interesting right you are teeing up an argument okay uh, as a former game employee I fully understand this decision I was working there around the Xbox One launch and you would often find people coming into store and playing on the demo Xbox for three yeah. to four hours at a time with yeah. no intention of buying the console the in-store console didn't require a member of staff close to use it unlike the PSVR or we would have lost members of staff for hours at a time it's a very good point as well yeah uh, you do get your demo fee back if you buy a headset which yeah. You ain't doing um, if you decide you don't want one, I would personally think that the five pound fee has saved you wasting money on a product you don't want. Yeah. I just feel sure I just feel ten minutes is quite. I might be short. wrong about the ten minutes thing. Don't judge too much. That might it might be half an hour. Okay, right. Yeah, but yeah. the most important thing to state here is in regards to the comment, apparently the one of you made that you could buy one and then return it if you don't like. That was Dale being a sneaky little devil. But that's stupid. This is not true. No. Unless the product is faulty or Sony sets up a promotion yeah, yeah, yeah. to allow it, the seal on the box being broken means you would only be able to trade it in. Hope this clears things up. Yeah. Regards, Curtis. Yeah, because so, I, I remember like game, you could just take stuff back. Dale. You, could, you could just buy yeah. something and then take it back like two years ago. I don't like it. Naughty business. Like, yeah, but then, but that was that trade in. No, you can, you can literally get your full money back. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. How is that like, okay? But one thing Curtis says in there that actually is absolutely bang on is the fact that you do have to have a member of staff there. Yes. Like yeah, yeah. so, like yeah, because you can't just have people getting their greasy mitts. All exactly. Over so business. surely they've had to set to, up and calibrate. So surely they've had to put some another staff member on that day, literally just to one learn how to use a PSVR, but two actually put it on people's heads and stuff like that. Because I yeah. think about the time first time you ever used like a, a VR thing, you had like a good like five ten minutes with someone going putting it on. Definitely. And stuff yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Like because you look at the PSVR, you're like, how do I how do I put that on? Like that's yeah. a new thing. Well, especially yeah, because yeah, it's on its weird rail and everything yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. It's not a normal way of putting on a some yeah. I, like I I think that I think that's fine. I, I think I think yeah the implication 
that they're like, right, lots of people are gonna like this. So yeah. Fiverr. Like, but <laughs> I, I don't think that's what's happening. Yeah, I think like when we first heard it, like I think it was the prices that seemed unreasonable. Yeah. But that was before even thinking about that you would have to have yeah. someone mm. on staff there attending the persons. Mm. Curtis, thank you. We have that very was... intelligent listeners yeah. who, when they disagree with us, often do it in a very nice yes, way. Yes, that's awesome. I like that a great yeah. deal. I, I really like hearing from people who work in game shops as well because it's kind of like well, it's, it's a side that we don't forgotten. necessarily. Yeah, it's like a strange yeah. world. Um, unless you work in the CEX in Brixton, um, <laughs> by which case you're a fucking idiot. Because <laughs> I've never been in there and had good service from them. We had ever. a mate who used to sleep under all the boxes. In really. The, in game, you know him. Yeah. He's from GameSpot. That's if you work in the the <laughs> Coal Rain CEX in uh, Northern Ireland, you guys are great. Yeah, good service. One's in good Stevenage. Discs. All good. Spray some Febreze around. Or game. There One was in, a, there one's was a good in Brixton. Game. Absolute moron <laughs> box. So there we go. That's, Superb. That's Brilliant. Uh, you think. can send us your feedback or disagree with us or talk about hickeys to us at ignuk underscore feedback at ign dot com. We would welcome you talking about my neck. Um, <laughs> and that's all for this week, I think. Yes. Me and Rory are going to go and swap tips. Yeah. And Gav's going to watch. And oh. as we always end, please, both of you now, suck on my neck. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>